everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and we're going to continue on with our OSPF for Babies Part 4. And it's going to get very interesting. We're going to add another router to our mix. So before we had just Router 1, a fast Ethernet interface, and Loopback 0. Just make sure you have your configs saved, and then click Stop on your GNS3. And the reason we do that is you, everything has to be stopped for you to add another router and to do the connections. So I'm going to drag in a 3700, 3725, and for some reason this is called R3. I'm going to just rename it by right-clicking, change host name, we'll call it R2, just so we don't get confused. And then I'm going to click the interface, add interface, fast00, zero zero, fast00, zero zero, and then we're going to type in an IP address. I've already done that. 10.10.12.2 slash 24. Now I'm going to hit the play button and then hit the console button right there to fire everything up. Now R1 pretty much has been set up already, so I'm going to just deal with R2 for most of this video. Okay, so I've got R2 coming up. Enable conf t and actually let me just show you show IP int br so we have no interfaces up So my first order of business is to go into my fast Ethernet interface and then do IP address 10 10 12 2 That's going to be a slash 24 and No shut Exit out of there and just quickly test that I have point-to-point -point connectivity, 10, 10, 12, 1. And I have success. All right, so you just have to make sure you can reach the other side before you do any OSPF stuff. Okay, so now starting up OSPF is the same as starting it up on router 1. All I have to do is conf t, router OSPF 1, network, Let's actually do all zeros all and then all two five fives. We'll do it the correct way this time. Area zero. And you can see as soon as I did that, it's pretty fast. I have this message come up. It's basically an adjacency change. I see a friend out there. Process one, neighbor. I see a neighbor 1.1.1.1. And this is the router ID of router one loading to full and this means that we've traded LSAs, we've traded routes and we now see each other and we're now buddy buddy in terms of OSPF. Let's actually go to router 1 and see how things look from different commands. Let's see enable there, show IP protocols, let's see if that's any different. Show IP protocols, that's pretty much the same. Show IP route Oh, show IP route is the same. Show IP OSPF database. Okay, so now this is a little different. So before, all I had was this, which was myself, the all ones address. But now I have 10.10.12.2. This is telling me that there is another router out there. That router ID is 10.10.12.2. You can see that sequence number is just one, so it's never changed. Well, it's uh, changed once, and that's when it came up. And we have this network link state. This signifies the link in between router 1 and router 2. So you have a type 1 LSA, which is a router LSA for each router. So a total of two in our case. And then you have just a single network link state. This is 10.10.12.1. Now, a network link state, even though it's called network, it's not actually not a, it doesn't really signify network, it signifies a designated router. And a designated router is something you will see uh, mainly on fast Ethernet interfaces, gig, you know, basically any type of Ethernet interface. And it's a router that decides it wants to control the updates to all the other routers. It's in charge of sending out the LSAs. In this case, you could see here that the advertising router and the link ID, that's me. That's going to be my side. For network link state, the 10.10.12.1 means the router one side of the fast Ethernet interface. So it's this 
interface, that's the DR, and the router that's sending it is the router ID. And let's just do a quick show IP OSPF neighbor. And you can see here, I have a neighbor at 10, 10, 12, 2. That's the other side of the link. State is full, which means we have traded everything that we have to trade in terms of LSAs. BDR stands for Backup Designated Router. Dead time, address, all that good stuff. And it's out fast Ethernet 00. zero. Now let's just go to R2 and see how R2 looks. Show IP protocols. And you can see here I've got a buddy buddy at all ones. My router ID is 10.10.12.2. 10, and that's because I don't have any loopbacks there. So it's the IP address of my fast ethernet interface on my side. If I show IP route, I've got an O route to this loopback over here. That's pretty cool. And the reason I have a route to that loopback is if I show IP OSPF database, I see the same information as I saw in router two. So notice this, if I look at the OSPF database on both routers, I'm gonna put them side to side here as much as I can put them. So oh, let's show IP OSPF database on router one. Okay, so now everything's sort of side to side. There we go. Okay, so let's take a look here. My router IDs are at top, so all ones here, and then 10, 10, 12, two for router two. Link IDs, all this good stuff, all ones, it's all ones over here. 10, 10, 12, two, 10, 10, 12, two. Everything's good there. Now the ages are slightly different because this is when the router learns about this particular LSA, so that's gonna be slightly off. And then for network link states, that's the same information right there. You could also see the sequence numbers are the same. Checksums are the same. And the link counts are the same. So why is that? Well, in OSPF, all routers in the same area have the same LSAs. You all have the same map to the network. The only thing that's different is your router decides what's the best way to get to somewhere. So it's kind of like this. If you and I go want to drive to Las Vegas or whatever, from wherever you're at, and we both go to Google Maps, well, Google Maps is going to be the same for both of us. We have the same uh, access to the same information on Google Maps, right? So like if I pull up California and you pull up California, we're both going to see the same thing. But from where you are, how you get to Las Vegas is going to be a heck of a lot different than how I get to Las Vegas. And so even though we have the same map, we both have two different ways of getting to where we want to go. So this show IP OSPF database, this is the map of the network. And how we actually get there is going to be show IP route. These are the routes that made it. And show IP route is going to be the final decider of how we get to a particular destination. All right, thanks for watching.